Let's turn now to what's being called the largest rally in support of Israel since the October Hamas terror attacks. Today, thousands of Chicagoans also traveled to our nation's capital. Nearly 300,000 people packed the National Mall, all pushing for Hamas to release the hostages and for an end to anti-Semitic attacks. NBC 5's Natalie Martinez joining us now with the story. Natalie? Stefan and Allison, the march for Israel was massive. It included lawmakers, supporters, and relatives of some of the 240 remaining hostages taken by Hamas. Now, we spoke to some of the thousands of Chicagoans who made the trip now headed home with hope. It was already dark outside when we caught up with this Chicagoan and her son who found some light at the largest rally of its kind in D.C. Tuesday. Every walk of life, um, secular Jews, religious Jews, um, it just really felt like this sense of togetherness. Alana Tenenbaum works for the Jewish United Fund, Chicago's Jewish Federation. She's among those asking for hostages to be brought home and to resist any growing hatred toward Jews. To be there um, doing my work, but also to have um, my 16-year-old son and my sister with me by my side was um, very emotional. And um, it just really felt like it was our turn. Our parents have done it in the past and it's our turn um, to fight anti-Semitism. Hearing the news of what's happening and seeing that I have family and friends fighting and experiencing it, it's, it's really hard. About 50 Chicago Bible students were also among the supporters in the shadow of the U.S. Capitol this afternoon. Many people will hear and for us to, to, to send a message to free all the hostages from the Israel. As a Christian, we have a duty and a responsibility to support Israel. Others continue to wait six weeks now for word of an end to the killing or a return of their loved one. This is a poster of our friend's uh, son, Hirsch Goldberg Poland, who was taken hostage on October 6th. Security was ramped up around the National Mall as tens of thousands came to show solidarity and condemn anti-Semitism. No one wants to see a war going on any longer and we all just want to be accepted. About sums up what a lot of them said. Now, the New York Times reports more than 500 U.S. officials have now signed a letter protesting President Biden's Israel policy. Stefan. Natalie Martinez with us tonight. Natalie, thank you very much.